Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to give you an update on my Pochette Felici that I bought for my birthday. And it's this one right here. So if you're interested, just keep watching. Hi, and welcome to my channel. I hope that you will consider subscribing. My channel consists of fashion and beauty, artistic and non-artistic Bible studies, clothing hauls, as well as beauty tips and tutorials, and just some plain old-fashioned fun. Thank you for watching, and I hope you consider subscribing. Okay, let me see if I can turn this down so that you can see... I don't think you're going to be able to. Okay, so I started using this purse. So I started using this purse after, and I'm sorry that it's so dark, but I want to try to show you all kind of what I'm talking about. I carried this purse for the first month or so that I bought it, and I already had some color transfer right there. I think I was carrying something in my bag that had like a pin mark. I had a piece of paper that had ink written on it. It was just a form or something. And I guess this rubbed up against it, transferred there. And then I have like a little, I guess a little tiny mark there from, I guess a pin, I don't know. But I also had more indentions in this than I've ever had in anything so let me see if I can right here it um, I believe my phone which my phone has a lot of rhinestones and stuff I think it pressed against it and it made some indentions on the leather here on the top the pink and it's not as it is no it's not as noticeable throughout but there's a significant spot on here that I can definitely see and uh, know that it's on there so definitely right there yeah you guys should be able to see it right Right there, you can kind of see. And so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna try to use some alcohol to remove that. And I saw a video of someone who took off some transfer color with alcohol. So I'm gonna try to do that. And then I also went ahead and bought some conditioning oil that I'm gonna rub on it after I treat it with the alcohol. It says nourishes and waterproofs smooth leather, smooth leather, <laughs> I can't say leather. And so I'm gonna try to put some of this after I put the alcohol on it. So how do you open this thing? Okay. And I went ahead and also bought this little cloth that I can use and trust me I'm very leery about doing this just because I don't want to ruin the leather but oh there was a couple of them in there so it's just like that but the way I see it is it already has an ink mark on there how much worse can it get right First, what I'm going to do is, and let me just show you guys quickly what the, the little conditioning looks like. It's just like a balm. And so, I believe you just, let me read the, it says, make sure article is clean and dry before applying work a thin coat into leather and seams with a cloth 
and polish applicator or cloth or polish applicator wipe off. wipe off excess immediately and allow to dry for several hours so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this alcohol and it's just normal alcohol and I'm going to put my q-tip in there and just kind of soak it and then I'm going to work on this little area where it has that mark to see if it'll come off doesn't look like it's doing much so I'm gonna leave that alone and then I'm gonna try to take this one off in the front And it looks like it's turning it a little bit. You guys can probably see it's discoloring it. But I don't know if it's because it's just wet. But it isn't really helping aside from turning it that color. So this might be a lost cause, but we'll see. So, okay, I went ahead and tried to take it off from there. And I think that's the only spot that I'm going to really try to do right now. This, I think, is more of a nick because it's not doing anything. I mean, like, it's not coming off at all. I thought maybe it was a pin mark, but now that I look at it, it might just be again from my phone just nick that leather. Let me see. Yeah, I don't think it's going to come off. And it doesn't look too terribly bad, but I did stop using it because, see, like right there, it feels, it doesn't feel real soft anymore. It feels kind of a little bit rough there. Up here, it didn't really affect it too much. It didn't seem like it discolored it or anything but there it definitely did so I'm gonna let it dry a little bit before I put the conditioning oil on it just because it says on there for the leather to be dry and I really think it is dry already but I'm gonna give it like at least 30 minutes and then I'll come back on to show you guys what I do with the conditioning oil and just see if there's any difference in the way it looks okay so it's been some time now and I just want to reiterate that I do use my purses and I don't I've said it time and time again that I don't baby my purses like I use them like I would any other purse and so that's why I just I just use it like I would any other purse. And I know that these purses are more expensive and maybe I should be a little bit more uh, careful with them. But in true reality, I you know I can't be. But yeah, I can definitely see a lot of surface scratches. Let me turn this down again Ooh, wrong way <laughs> so I don't know if maybe they just you just can't see them you know what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just post pictures but it seemed like that turned back to the normal color and you can still see the little transfer of the pin mark so the alcohol didn't work but I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this 
conditioning oil on it. And this you just turn and it pops open. Because just because I did put the alcohol on it, I do want to go ahead and put some uh, conditioning oil on there. And I'm just kind of just wiping the cloth in there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just massage it over the areas that I did put alcohol on. In fact, I'm just going to put it all over because it's not going to hurt anything. It's just conditioning oil for the leather. So I just definitely wanted to emphasize that, that people might say, what's your fault? You should take better care of your stuff. And, and I can agree to a certain extent, but I've always said that I'm not the type of person who is going to baby my stuff I want to use it and sometimes you can't be real practical about it but it's not real bad but I think if you let's say that you have things that you carry either in your hand or somewhere just have paperwork that's signed with ink on it and I don't know if it's just the blue ink but I would imagine any ink could easily transfer onto the purse. And so yeah, it definitely has a lot of the scuffing on it and it definitely has still even not as bad. I think it kind of took it off a little bit. But right there. And again, I'll just put the pictures. I just wanted to update you all with this purse because I felt like it went downhill very fast and I have my my cherry wood that's also the pink but it's more of a patent leather and I know a lot of people talked about transfer on this one I haven't had any transfer on this one and I used it quite a bit as well when I first bought it so I didn't have any transfer on it like I did on this one and this is more of a okay so on the website it says that it's a smooth leather and in the details it says that it's a um, well it's talking about the Demir Azure coated canvas and cowhide leather so I'm not sure if it's just talking about the Demir Azure leather or if it's talking about the pink but because it says smooth leather I'm thinking that's what that is but I guess I don't know maybe I see better with my glasses because with the naked eye I don't see that mark anymore I feel like it came off but with my readers, I can barely see it. I mean, it's barely noticeable. So just my final thoughts are that if you're interested in purchasing this purse that you think about how much care you can take of the smooth leather and to me maybe there was some force here but I can't imagine that I put a lot of force to cause all the indentions that it had and as far as like the ink transfer I know that I had a form that uh, I had filled out and it was a while before I stuck it in my purse and all I'm thinking is that it it went on top a little bit and that's where the transfer occurred so that's my update on this purse and if you were thinking about purchasing it like I said I definitely wanted to do an update video on it so that you would know or be aware the Demir Azur 
is fine. I didn't. I don't have any issues with it. I don't have any transfer on it or anywhere else. It was just basically right there on the top where, like I said, I, I'm pretty sure when I, because I carry all of my stuff in a bag, and I've done a what's in my work bag video before, and so it's a large bag, and so what I usually do is just toss this in there, and yeah, definitely could not be put in that type of environment. So, yeah, so that's my updated review of this bag. And thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.